Hey everyone, Ms. Dempsey here. This is a guide for round 6 of the Manufacturer Series. Let's get this started. You want to use the 150 meter sign on your left as your first breaking point. Try to enter this turn a little bit slowly so you can set yourself up to go through the second turn a lot faster and get a fast exit. You'll be braking just after the wall on the right ends. Try not to take too much advantage of the curbs where the apexes are, as it's easy to make a little too much contact with the yellow sausage curbs and get yourself an off track penalty. Then brake right after the 50 meter mark and you want to be very patient with your timing on the throttle. Don't get on the green area as that will interrupt your exit. Then brake right before the 50 meter mark and once again, just be very patient with your throttle input and do not get on the green area. For this turn, brake just before the 100 meter mark and you want to try to get a really good entry into this turn. If you do get a good entry, you shouldn't have to lift too much off of the throttle as you make the right turn. And finally, break just after the 100 meter mark, bring yourself to the inside and just take your time starting to accelerate. Try not to accelerate too early so you don't end up hitting the green area on the left, which will interrupt your exit speed. But anyways, that is all for the guide. Let's go ahead and talk about the strategies. For the qualifying strategy, you have six minutes to try to get a good qualifying time and you want to make sure that you feel burnt a lot. This will also be the only time that you want to use the racing soft tires, so make sure that you switch on over to those as you start your qualifying or when you go to the pit stop to get a new set of tires, which we are eventually going to do because the tire wear rate is pretty darn high. So at the end of the outlap, we're just gonna go ahead, pan over to racing soft tires since I was on racing hard tires when the qualifying session started. And we're going to go back out, do some more fuel burning, give ourselves some time so we can get ourselves up to speed, and then start our flying lap. Make sure that you have someone that you can follow as Slipstream is going to play a key role in trying to get a good qualifying time. That, and make sure that you don't get a stupid off track penalty. Uh, I say this because the second chicane is really easy to get the off track penalty if you make a little too much contact with those yellow sausage curves. As you're going to see here, I was thinking, okay, I'm doing really good and I get an off track penalty right there. And that's going to screw me over big time as I was on the path towards getting a high 155, low 156 but I have to serve the penalty and that's just going to end up screwing me over. So make sure that you don't get an off track penalty, follow someone so you can get all the substream benefits and do your fuel burning. For the racing strategy, the only strategy that you want to think about or just do is to start on racing hard tires and then switch on over to racing medium tires. The racing soft tires are only good during the qualifying session as you want to try to get the fastest time possible. But when it comes to the racing situation, their tire wear is too high to be able to do anything good with them. And since this is obviously a high power track with lots of straights, it's going to be pretty hard for you if you're on racing soft tires to break away from those on racing medium and hard tires. For reference, first place is on racing soft tires. I'm on racing hard tires and I'm keeping up with them, especially because of the very strong slipstream that we have right now. Sure, he might be able to break away a little bit when we go through some of these turns, 
but because we're on the throttle so often, I'm just slowly going to reel him back in, especially as his tire wear really affects his racing soft tires. And for reference again, the racing soft tires, when I was trying them out on the Cayman GT4, they only lasted me about four laps before I noticed a drastic uh, decrease in performance on those racing soft tires. So when it comes to the racing hard into medium tire strategy, something that you want to do before you do your actual FIA race is to measure out how long your car will last on racing medium tires. So for example, in my case, I can last about six to seven laps on racing medium tires. So that means that I'm going to do seven to eight laps on racing hard tires. So in this case, I'm going to do eight laps on racing hard tires and I'm going to have to refuel. And at the same time, I'll be switching over to the racing medium tires. So just like that, I'm going to cover both the tire requirements of using racing hard and medium tires. And once again, I have to refuel, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on my only pit stop. So now that I'm on racing medium tires, notice how I didn't fill up the car all the way, and that's going to help my car accelerate a little bit faster, which will help me get better lap times. So I'm just going to fast forward to the very end to show you what my tire wear looked like on the racing medium tires at the very end of the race. So yeah, the basic strategy here is racing hard tires, start on those, uh, go to the pit stop, refuel, and switch on over to the racing medium tires. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this guide. Uh, sorry about the late upload as I ended up losing power during the recording. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is Mr. MCA wishing you a good race and I'll see you in the next video.